What's going on you, the tube? I am a hot mess nest, MUA, otherwise known as Vanessa. And you might be wondering, why do you look like that? Well, it's my face. What? Gem, Gemini. Okay, Gemini needs pets. Is this Gem? Say hi, Gem. Do you need, you need pets? Do you need pets? Okay, I pet you. Go somewhere. So you might be wondering, what's going on? What are you up to? Besides listening to your cat in the background. I did a bit of a haul at Walgreens. As one has commentary on that. The Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers line has come to Walgreens and I recently saw that it was on the website, so it is live. So I picked up pretty much everything in the collection for a new series on my channel to know if it works. What caught my attention is that the little display had these fun little how to create the look is each one of the looks we're going to try it out see if the products work but this is just the intro of what i hauled so you know that next week we will have the skull queen the flirty fawn the unicorn queen and the catwalk zombie so now you know why i made that unicorn headband two weeks ago so i am going to show you guys all the things that came Within the collection, I picked up almost everything but the individual eyeliners and some of the regular lipsticks because I just didn't need them. So each little collection for the look had a series of so They have these paint palettes. This one is the metallic paint palette. So you would use a metallic paint palette for the Skull Queen. And I have no idea the consistency of these yet. You've got the neutrals palette, so you would use this one for the deer. I also have on my lips the black liquid lipstick from the cat suit. It's called Black Widow. It seems pretty pigmented. So pigmented. Let's do a quick little hand swatchy do of these. Pretty light. So the tutorial should be interesting. Most of the time when you're using creams, you want to set with a powder. So I am curious how these will translate. Like, I mean, that's a couple swipes. So how do you build opacity? But it is metallic, so let's grab a darker shade because those tend to be hit or miss. So yeah, it should be interesting to see how these tutorials turn out. If I do one and it turns out awful, it, that might be the end of the series. It'll be like one and done. But for somebody that is not a working special effects makeup artist, this might be kind of fun to play with. Then they also came out with four glitter palettes. These are inside. So you know when you buy those pressed glitters that are really expensive, these might be a, you know, second choice. First you have this one, it is Heavy Metals, Brights Vive. We have Urethral, and then there's Neutrals. Let's just try to use this little smooshy, and it's just like goopy glitter. Paint palettes were $5.99, and the glitter palettes are $3.99. I'm sure you could build it up, let's see. It's good, I feel like this is all gonna be very tacky. Then they also came out with these pencils, these crayon pencils, and they're $1.99. So I got the white, the black, and the purple. So if you're doing, you know, overall eye art, Okay, it's starting to dry down that little glitter, so that tells you about that. But this, I'm hoping, will be like a nice dupe for the NYX cream pencils, because those are a little bit more pricey, so if this is like nice, it could be a nice eyeshadow base. Could be. We'll have to see. I got the Liquid Cat Suit in Black Widow. And then I also got their Unicorn Iridescent Lip color in Unicorn Soul. This was part of the Unicorn collection, I believe in the summertime, but it was out with these other so this items. This is the Unicorn one. It kind of reminds me of Unicorn Tears from Too Faced. It'd be a nice dupe. If you didn't want to pay the full price, it's that iridescent -y blue. Let's see if we can put a little on the center without disturbing the lipstick. Well, isn't that fun? 
ombre lip art right there. So that was the other one. And the funnest part I thought, which really pulled all of this collection together, was the stencils. So oftentimes, those of us that are enthusiastic about makeup, I do makeup on people for like proms, I can do weddings, but I don't do special effects. The closest thing I did to that was my daughter's Halloween, and that turned out pretty cool. But when you're not doing these kind of things on the regular, it takes a lot of time. And let's be real, who starts getting ready six hours before Halloween? Like, I don't know what I know. So these fun little stencils, I believe they retailed for $1.99. I don't know if they're sticky or not, but you'll have to stay tuned for the following tutorials to see how they work. But this one is the Unicorn Queen, so you could put it on your face, put the gunk on, and see if it works. It's got little hearts and stars. The other one is the Catwalk Zombie. So you've got your zombie bite and your marks and scratches and all of that. And then you've got the Skull Queen. So you would put this on your lips and then you could do the teeth over it. And um, the Deer one is just a freestyle. And then I also got the lipstick. So I also got the Cutie Patootie lipstick and of course I can't find that anywhere. So this is the Wet n Wild Fantasy Makers it is now available online. It is also in Walgreens stores. It's a big old display. And I just love the fact that you get the creative help and step-by-step -step guide. And that's literally what I'm going to do in next week's tutorials. We'll start with Unicorn and we'll do all four looks, regardless if they turn out badly or not. We're just gonna put all these products to the test. So if you wanna see those, just make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can see when those go live. We'll see you guys in the next video. As always, thank you so much for watching and uh, we'll see you then. Bye. Just watch my videos. It'll make me feel less pathetic. <laughs>